Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see by the title, today I'm gonna be doing a makeup routine for 2024. I haven't done one of these in so long and my makeup routine has changed a lot. I use new products or different products um, than I used to and just the way that I do it um, changed a lot. So I'm gonna be showing y'all how I do my makeup today. All right, so I have my eyebrows done already. Y'all know I don't do them on camera because they never come out good on camera um, and I already skin prepped and primed and I'm gonna show you what I used to prep my skin I used the CeraVe moisturizer and then I used this Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel moisturizer thing I use that for all over my face as another moisturizer then I used this Neutrogena eye cream for under my eyes then I prime with the NYX plump right back primer it looks like this and then the elf Carter primer the pink one and then y'all a little hack for a smooth under eye is I put this Smashbox um, photo finish smooth and blur primer only under my eyes like right here and it makes a huge difference whenever you blend out your concealer and set everything like everything just looks so smooth and blurring and y'all should try it and that's what I use to, to prep and prime so now that my face has been primed already it's ready for everything that's gonna go on it so let's get started so i'm gonna use two foundations but i'm gonna use one more than the other one i'm gonna use this um fenty beauty pro filter foundation this is in the shade 210 and then i'm gonna be using the makeup by mario Found foundation as well this is in the shade 9w and then to apply my foundation evenly i find it that you also use less product when doing it this way i get a brush like a flat brush like this and i put the foundation on the brush just like that and i just spread it all over my face instead of like putting the foundation directly on your face if that makes sense and you use way less product this way so you're also saving money because these fucking foundations are so expensive you know like I think this foundation is like 60, I think. I'm not sure, but they're expensive. Also, this foundation, this Pro Filter one, the Fenty Beauty one, this one oxidizes. So I usually get like a lighter shade when it comes to getting this foundation because it goes on light like this, but then it like turns into my actual skin tone color. Just keep that in mind if you guys want to purchase this foundation because it does oxidize a lot. Then for the makeup by Mario, I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to do one pump. This one is darker than the other one. So I just put it kind of like just for extra coverage and I put it mostly on my nose. I have a huge problem with my nose when it comes to like makeup separating and stuff. So I found out like it, what works for me is to put a lot of product on my nose because then it looks it just looks bad when I don't also I did my lashes today they look super pretty my lash tech is beauty bar studio on Instagram if you guys have it if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I always tag her when I do them one thing that changed in my makeup routine or makeup step shit whatever is I don't wet my beauty blender anymore but I feel like both ways work the same and if you don't wet your beauty blender it doesn't really matter what matters to me is for my skin to be prepped and primed accordingly if you don't do that then even like a wet sponge is not gonna work so just keep that in mind but i just start blending everything also y'all i got a new camera i don't know if y'all can notice like the difference between this camera and the other one that i had this one is a sony the other one was a canon and i feel like the canon one just i didn't like it too much so i switched to this one and i like this one a lot better so hopefully y'all are gonna get more content out of this camera also y'all i know there's a lot of like controversy on like not putting any like foundation under your eyes but i do it anyway because i just feel like it evens out everything when applying my concealer so i do it there's no rules to makeup so i'm just teaching y'all what i do another thing that i do for like a smooth base is i do shave my face pretty frequently i shave it every week and that's just me i know a lot of people will like don't like it but i like it because it makes my face feel super smooth whenever i wear makeup and it looks super smooth regardless of like my texture and my acne because as y'all see my acne is getting super bad but whenever i shave i feel like it helps my makeup look smoother which is what i want because with my acne and my texture my makeup usually looks just textured and i 
don't like that but i have to live with it because obviously i have acne now that my foundation is on i'm gonna wipe off the foundation of my lips first okay now i cream contour i use this essence concealer i don't know what shade it is it doesn't have a shade not even at the bottom so i am so sorry it's basically like a darker concealer shade and when it comes to doing my cream contour i do the little duck face and kind of just go like where the lines create on my face mm -hmm. and then on my forehead and a little bit on my nose then i get this real techniques 258 brush i think this is a foundation brush i'm not sure but i use it for cream contour and it works perfectly so whenever it comes to blending i just do the same duck face and just follow the lines that my face naturally creates so do y'all see like mm -hmm. i just follow those lines This side I did it a little bit too low. So I'm just gonna pass over the foundation that's on my sponge and that should fix it. A lot of people on TikTok, cause I made like a get ready with me on TikTok and I was showing like where I put my contour and stuff. About like two, three people commented on like how I did my contour too low but my face has gotten super round because I've been gaining weight lately. So I, found out through tiktok that when you have a round face it's better to put your contour low so i don't know but it works for me like i see a difference i don't know if y'all can see but my nose makeup is starting to separate that's what i mean by i focus this foundation on my nose i'm gonna put a little bit more because that's what happens whenever i don't put enough foundation on it and i freaking hate it like my nose contour comes out so bad every time that that that, that happens so i need to put more foundation I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but there's a difference. One thing that I've changed in my makeup routine is I now use cream blush and y'all, this is a freaking life changer. Like it's so freaking good. Like I love it so much. So I use this Juvia's Place Rosy Posy Cream Blush. Looks like this. And I just put two dots like that on the high points of my face just like that on both sides and then when i started doing this i was using a beauty blender to blend it but y'all need to trust me when i say to use a fucking brush i specifically use this setting brush by real techniques the 402 brush this brush also works really good when blending your concealer your under eye concealer but i use it for my blush and i just start blending everywhere i bring it under my eye i blend it into the contour and i bring it up to my temples and just make sure that everything is well blended and it just looks so good like oh my god i freaking love this i don't know why i didn't like do it before and then i put some on my nose as well like the rest of the product that's on the brush i put on my nose and then a little bit on my chin and i just keep on blending until i'm satisfied with how it looks that's what it looks like i don't put too much because you can get like carried away with it so i just try and like do the least that i can then we're gonna move on to concealer i use this filter me full coverage concealer by amuse i got this from a small business they sent it to me and i've been using it ever since and this is a good freaking concealer for like brightening your under eye but i use it for all over my face and i do like three layers under my eyes it's also like very sheer like it's buildable it's full coverage but you have to like build it you know what i mean so i just put it on those areas and then I do have my powder ready. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Really good powder. I freaking love it. I just use the same beauty blender that I used to blend my foundation. And I just start blending everywhere. And I bring it through here to kind of cut my contour. Not too much though because I hate whenever there's like a harsh line. I do my forehead and then i start blending my under eye i don't really have like a technique for when it comes to blending my under eye like i just kind of go for it but i am gonna lift up my lashes because i already got the blend today and i don't want to get any makeup on them i low-key am noticing that you can't even see the blush right now so i'm gonna add just one more little dot of blush because you can never go wrong with too much blush you just gotta learn how to fix it now I'm gonna add a second layer of concealer. 
Also y'all, one thing that I do differently is I don't like a bright ass under eye anymore. Like I feel like it looks so funny. I'm not saying for y'all, I'm saying for me. I was looking back at like whenever I used to do a bright under eye and I just don't like how it looked like. And I just use the same concealer for everywhere on my face instead of using a brighter one for under my eyes. Cause I just feel like it looks better on my skin or on my complexion. So if y'all wanna do a bright under eye, go for it. But me, I am sticking to this. And we're just gonna do one last little layer. And this is gonna be the layer where I set. So make sure you have your powder ready and your powder puff ready as well. I do use a powder puff to set my powder. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see, but look at how freaking smooth my under eye is because of that hack that I showed y'all. Okay, now with the same powder, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. <sighs> Before this video started, I was like prepping my skin and I was like shaving it and everything. And I accidentally shaved off like the tail of my eyebrow. So I don't have any hair right there. I don't know if y'all could tell, but bro, I'm like traumatized. But hopefully it'll grow back better because it was kind of ugly. Okay, I'm gonna cut my contour a little bit, but I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm not gonna go all the way down, just like that. Now, I'm just gonna wipe away all of the powder. This eyebrow shit is bothering me so bad, I need to fill it in. Now, we're gonna move on to powder, like the powder part of my base. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty bronzer palette. This is the Sunstalker um, palette. And I'm gonna use the shades Caramel Cutie and Cocoa Naughty. And I just kind of mix these two. And I use this Ulta Beauty Buffing Foundation Brush because it's super dense and I like really dense brushes when it comes to blending my, or when applying my bronzer. Cause I just kind of tap. So I mix in these two and just tap and bring it down. Then for um, nose contour, I use the same shades. Actually, before we move on, I'm gonna kind of blend this bronzer a little bit more and just blend it with a buffer, no, with a fluffier brush. For nose contour, I'm gonna use this Zuva Lip Contour 330 brush. This is how it's called. I don't know if you can see. And it looks like this. It's like flat fluffy brush and I use the same palette but I use the shade private island and I'm pretty sure they sell these bronzers separately because I've heard um, people use like this exact shade but it's in like a little white packaging thing but I just grab it pack some on my brush and I kind of just follow the natural lines of my nose but making it skinnier obviously because when it comes to nose contour you want your nose to look skinnier Y'all, I'm so excited to finish this video right now because after I am gonna go eat with my man because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since like 11 in the morning or it was like 10.30 and it's already, it's 9.34 p.m. right now. Okay, then I do this. We're trying to create a button nose. I'm telling y'all like everything in my makeup kind of changed. Like I used to do my nose contour super differently before, but I like this way better. I just feel like sometimes you go back to your old ways. I'm talking about makeup, not old habits. And then sometimes you find new ones and you like it better, but then you get tired of the new ones so you go back to the old one. You know what I mean? That's how makeup works. Anyway, so I kind of do this little shape and I just blend out with a fluffier brush and just make sure to stay in like the places that you applied it because you don't want your contour to look too like regado, if you know what I mean. I personally like my um, nose contour to look like really, not harsh, but like defined. And I know some people don't like the look of that, but I like it because I have a fat ass nose and it just makes my nose not look big. So I like the look of that, but I know some people don't. But just make sure to blend. Literally the whole thing to this is just to blend. Then when I'm done blending, if I want to go in with more product, I just get it on this brush instead of the other one. And I just go over it lightly, not too harsh. Just like this, I'm satisfied with that. Then with the leftover powder that I have on my powder puff, I just do a little line to kind of define it. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
now we're gonna move on to my favorite freaking part of my makeup which is the blush part because i freaking love blush i use this juvia's place number four or volume four palette and i use both of these shades and i use this morphe m403 brush i think this is a specific blush brush okay so i just grab this shade first right here and go on the high points of my face same to the other side and then you get a lot of this one and do like a tap two taps of that one and then apply it one thing like my signature shape is i bring my blush to my eyelids and i just find it so cute but this is the part where you blend in the blush to the contour so it doesn't look like two completely different things you're not gonna look like a fucking ice cream bar you see how freaking beautiful that is and just do the same to the other side i did put a little bit too much i went overboard but i love blush but if you did go over your blush limit whatever the I just go over it with a beauty blender, the same beauty blender that I used for my foundation. It should like balance it out. Now I'm gonna get some more and put it on my nose and on my chin. Now we are done with my base. Finally, cause I am fucking tired and I wanna go eat. So now um, the last thing I have to do is just set. Before I do that, I'm gonna fix my stupid ass eyebrow because y'all look, I fucking shaved off my eyebrow. It does not look fucking cute. So we're gonna fix it. I'm just use pomade and a flat brush and just make it darker. There you go. Now you just have to set your face. Make sure to wipe off the foundation off your lips. All right, so tonight I'm just gonna use this all-nighter um, setting spray because I'm not doing anything special, I'm not going out. It's a Friday, but I stopped going out. I don't go out as much as I used to anymore, so round of applause for me. Just get whatever setting spray, okay? Usually I use three setting sprays. I use the matte um, Milani one, I use the Charlotte Tilbury, and then I use the one size one, and then keeps my makeup on all night whenever I go out or all day whenever I'm doing shit all day but tonight i'm just gonna use this all nighter one and also i don't wipe this um bake because i set it in whenever my setting spray is already dry and i use this little fan for the sake of tonight because i don't know if we're gonna go out or not me and my man but i'm just gonna use the one size powder powder setting spray just a little bit Okay, now I just go like this for my nose contour and just pat in the powder onto my nose contour and it looks good. For my lips, I'm gonna use this NYX um, lip liner in the shade No Equivalent and I do overline my bottom lip just a little bit. Just like that. I don't go overboard though because then it looks fucking unnatural and then you look fucking stupid. Okay, so I have my lip liner on and I use the same blush, cream blush that I used on my face. I used it for my lips. Usually I use a darker lip liner, but oh, it's right here. Okay, I use this lip liner by Heavenly Beauty. I added too much pink, but it's okay. But yeah, that's my lip combo. And that is my makeup routine. Oh, actually, I'm forgetting my bottom lash mascara. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'm gonna come back for like the official final like, you know? So this is the final look. My skin, regardless of my acne and my texture it looks super smooth like my under eyes and my whole like just base it looks super super smooth and i am very proud of just how my makeup came out and how i learned to do it over the years i feel like this is like my favorite makeup routine so far that i've Done. thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like the video make sure to subscribe and like i know i've been gone for a long time i'll probably do a life update get ready with me later on next week to just kind of update you guys on why i've been gone and 
what I've been doing and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure to subscribe and like. This is what it looks like. I love you guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.